Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As I'm sure all of you know, last Monday was International Women's Day. So happy Women's Day to all of those bad bitch, to all you bad women out there. I'm not gonna say the B word this early in the video, but y'all y'all know what I'm thinking, okay? Also, if I see any comments about my hair being frizzy, I'm blocking you. Don't try it. <laughs> Something that you may not know is that Steven Crowder, our Republican king, I, ew. I mean, after looking at these tweets in these videos, maybe it's our Republican queen, but on International Women's Day, Stephen Crowder posted a bunch of tweets about trans women and uh, that's pretty much all I need to say. He posted about trans women, like, let's go, let's talk about it. I don't know why this man is so obsessed with trans women. It kind of gives me chaser vibes. I'm not gonna lie, but I mean, we'll just move on. For today's video, I figured we could just react to his most recent tweets about trans people. Just kind of laugh at them. I'm not gonna try to like give you guys the debate points or anything like that. Like it's, it's Steven Crowder. Like, we cannot take him seriously. I post new videos here on my channel every Monday and Thursday. So if you guys are not yet subscribed and you'd like to be, go ahead and do that right now. I'll wait for you. Are you done? Thank you very much. I know they put my hand down. I'm like, I think it's my nails. It's just my nails, that's why. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok to keep as up to date with me as possible. And also I have a Patreon. So if you guys like the work that I do here on my channel and you would like to donate, the link for that is down below as well. But yeah, with no further ado, let's get right into Steven Chasers. I mean, excuse me, Steven. I can't. I, Steven Crowder's tweets. Can I just call him Steven Chaser this whole time? Wouldn't that be so funny? I'm gonna do it. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm sure that most of you know who Steven Crowder is. If not, I'm sure that you know the series that he does, the Change My Mind series. It's kind of turned into like a big meme at this point. And it's for a good reason, they're so dumb. Like honestly, I feel like people just prove him wrong and like just own him in all of his own debates. I'm like, sweetie, why did you post this? Like it doesn't make you look very good. Steven Crowder is one of the largest right-wing or conservative creators on YouTube. And he actually makes a lot of videos about trans people. He's made the videos like Change My Mind, There's Only Two Genders. It's honestly kind of funny how little he he knows about trans people but also it's not funny at all because he's putting all of these videos out about trans people to his conservative audience i do plan on doing a deep dive or you know just looking into those change my mind debates on transgender people a little bit more but for this video i'm just going to be focusing on his tweets that he posted on international women's day so the first tweet that he posted last monday about trans people on international women's day simply says indeed period hashtag trans women are women he should have just left it at that. But he posted a clip of this video that he made over five years ago. I believe it was over five years ago. It was at least five years, maybe over five. I don't fucking know. It was a long time ago. Unfortunately, I feel like it is necessary that we watch some of this video, at least some of it. So yeah, if you don't want to see this video, like just skip ahead. But honestly, it's like kind of funny. I feel like he made this video to try to show that like people don't like trans women and everybody thinks that trans women are a joke, blah, blah, blah. But literally everybody in this video is just like, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> he talks to some people and like asks for help and people are just like, yeah, I'll help you. What, like, what do you, what do you need? What's up? He says that, oh, Planet Fitness kicked me out because I'm trans and they are not very trans tolerant or some bullshit. I don't even know what he was trying to do because again, he failed so hard, but he did tweet it again. So, you know, let's, let's give it a little look. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, Tuck. Hi. Doing well, how are you? First timer. Okay. I like everything color branded. It's so, I feel like I stepped into Star Wars. Uh, Stairmasters are here. Do you have, you don't have a squat rack at all? It's just one thing, careful to your back. It's, you can hurt your back, it's a little rounded. Like just sir. Sure it's flat. Oh my God. I should say sir, sorry, ma'am. Excuse me. I just need uh, just some help to get the weight up and in case I just, you know, just in case for safety, but I should be good. Just help lift them up. So there you go. One. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's where we're going to stop. He asks people for help. He literally is just like living life, just working out again. Nobody cares. Just further proving the point that people don't care if you're trans. Honestly, shout out to the dude just like helping him. Oops, sorry. I mean her. Lifting the weights, just being casual, like stood there to like spot her or whatever it's called. As you can see, he's just trying to like mock trans women. Steven, honey, if you want to dress up as a woman, like nobody cares. Like live your fantasy, girl. <laughs> literally the first tweet underneath his tweet says, he dresses as a woman a lot for a cishet man. Like, come on, Steven Chaser, just admit that you like dressing as a woman. 
We don't judge. You wanna borrow my lipstick, bitch? I got you. The next tweet that he posted is a reply to Elliot Page. Elliot's tweet says, efforts to criminalize trans kids are deadly and we need to fight back against Alabama's HB1 slash SB10. Trans kids' lives depend on stopping this bill. Tell Alabama lawmakers to hashtag protect trans kids, hashtag no HB1, hashtag no SB10. So I do just want to quickly mention the bills that Elliot is referring to. A little educational moment, you're welcome. So this article from the ACLU, I believe, it's going to be linked down below, says, HB1 slash SB10, companion bills filed by Representative Allen and Senator Shellnut, <laughs> Shellnut, criminalize medical professionals who choose to support transgender youth's identity, forcing them to choose between the possibility of government prosecution and adhering to the evidence-based clinical guidelines of their field. This runs counter to medical science, prevailing standards of treatment for transgender youth, and basic human dignity. Dylan Nettles, who is the Director of Policy and Advocacy said, Alabama lawmakers are once again threatening the healthcare choice of everyday Ala Alabami Alabamians? By passing SB10 out of the Senate Health Committee today, children across Alabama are at risk of losing life-preserving care due to their identity and the government. This legislation also puts Alabama's doctors at risk of being charged with a Class C felony simply for performing their duties by supporting the health and well-being of transgender children. This legislation is wholly dangerous and irresponsible, particularly at a time when the importance of qualified and non-exclusionary medical professionals is more evident than ever, and children are already struggling under the circumstances of this pandemic. Honestly, just horrible, horrible. So just to sum up, these bills are attempting to make it a felony for doctors to support a transgender youth's identity. Bravo. So back to Stephen Chaser, he quote tweeted Elliot Page and said, no, kids' lives in general depend on their parents making rational, informed decisions to protect their safety and well-being. Refusing mind-altering hormones and physical sex changes qualifies. Stephen Chaser, huh? I mean, I do agree that children's lives depend on their parents making, you know, informed, rational decisions, but refusing healthcare for these young trans children is not rational or informed. Not by medical standards, not by ethical standards, not by the Samantha Lux standards either, bitch. He goes on to say, refusing mind-altering hormones. What are you refer- like what? What mind-altering hormones are you referring to? Oh my God, these bitches don't know anything. They don't know anything about trans healthcare, literally nothing. I'm assuming what he's referring to as mind altering hormones are the puberty blockers that they give kids. We already know puberty blockers are fully reversible, first of all, and secondly, have no effect on people's mind. You <laughs> Like what is that even mind altering? Like, yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. Sorry, ma'am, sorry. And then the second part, physical sex changes. Really? Do you see why I think it's so funny? You see why I wanted to show you these tweets? Like, it's just total bullshit. No child is having a physical sex change. The replies to this also, Stephen, puberty blockers are only administered to children after having gone months or even years of consultation with endocrinologists, parents, and the child. This isn't to mention the fact that puberty blockers are reversible. Period. It's hilarious when right-wing pundits try to tell trans folks that they are wrong about trans issues. And then to just build on top of that, they're also trying to tell medical professionals and doctors that they are wrong about medicine. The next tweet that he tweeted, again, like, why are you so obsessed with me, sir? Steven Chaser said, so you're a man and want to wear a dress? Fine, I'm just gonna stop you right there, sir. Remember Harry Styles? Remember that whole thing? I have a video on the bench of peoples of the world complaining about Harry Styles wearing a dress. You clearly do not think it's okay to be a man and to wear a dress. You wanna wear makeup? Fine. Really? You think conservatives are okay with men wearing makeup? I mean, again, I fully support men wearing dresses, men wearing makeup. I support it, <laughs> but you do not. Don't pretend that you do. You wanna change your name? Fine. Thank you for respecting somebody's name change, but you've consistently said in your videos, like, is there more than two genders that you think that people using alternate names or using alternate pronouns is a type of oppression on the people that may not agree with you? You wanna play in women's sports? Nope. Vosh said it perfectly. Conservatives haven't cared about women's sports literally at all until they realized that they could be transphobic under the guise of caring about women's sports. Puberty blockers for kids? Haha. Ha. I'll give a little haha ha too. It's just, it is funny, you know? That's a no-brainer. Of course we'll give kids puberty blockers. We've been giving kids puberty blockers for decades now for, you know, other reasons, like an early onset puberty. Kids still get prescribed puberty blockers for reasons other than being transgender all the time. And they don't have a problem with this whatsoever. Just say you're transphobic, sweetie. Just say it. So the next tweet from Stephen Chaser says, Happy International Women's Day to all the beautiful and brave trans women of Saudi Arabia. Can we just pretend that he's being serious? Obviously, he's trying to like make a joke about the fact that, you know, 
being trans in Saudi Arabia is illegal, punishable by fines, you know, going to jail. Trans women are often beaten, tortured, murdered, which like, comedy gold, am I right? I don't know how anybody could resist that joke. It's just so, it's just so funny. So the next tweet from Miss Steven is another quote tweet. It's a quote tweet of a person named Jack saying that Steven Crowder enters a gym disguised as a trans woman to expose how trans people don't fit in with normal people accidentally demonstrates that almost nobody gives a shit and has to literally start throwing weights around like a child to instigate mild conflict. Perfectly said, like I should have just read this tweet to talk about the video, like exactly. He responds to this person's tweet saying, outrage over a five-year-old video, cutting edge. Do the ice bucket challenge next. You brought the video up. You just tweeted about it. He's like, well, you people are all just so triggered and you're just making a big deal out of something that's five years old. Like, bro, you literally just tweeted it. And nobody's making a big deal about it. They're just saying that you are not funny, first of all, and failed at what you're trying to do. Good job though. And then the next day, the final tweet says, apologize for what? There's some tea. There is some tea. I'm not gonna get into it. I don't wanna get sued by Mr. S oh, Mrs., sorry by Stephen Chaser's attorneys or whatever, but allegedly, somebody alleges, I don't, how do I say this without getting in trouble? Basically a trans woman tweeted and accused Stephen Crowder of soliciting her for, you know, inappropriate activities. Not only that, this person says that it happened when they were 17 years old. This is a lot, it's a lot, there's a lot, it's a lot. So I don't know, maybe people are referring to that. Maybe that's what you should be apologizing for. Just a thought. All right, everyone, but that is it for this video. Steven Chaser, just come out. Like, I know you like to wear women's clothing. You can borrow some of that. No, you can't. No, you can't, ew. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. It really helps out my channel a lot, so I really appreciate it. Comment down below the most ridiculous thing you've heard Steven Chaser say. Maybe the tweet that you thought was the most ridiculous. Anything you want, really, just go say hi. <laughs> also, make sure to subscribe if you are not already and you would like to be. And other than that, I think I'm going to go. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in Thursday's video. Bye everyone.